Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this polymer clay porgy chubble in a pond and a lot of you guys have asked me for a chubble tutorial. Unfortunately, I won't be making a chubble tutorial based on the ones that I have in my shop but I'm more than happy to make a polymer clay version to share with you guys so here it is. And this is also kind of like another collaboration I'm doing with Art Resin because they saw your comments on my last review video and they're offering a $5 off coupon any purchase if you use the code little surprises so here I'm just showing you how um, you can input that and I will also be sharing this portion at the end of the video again so this is pretty much 10% off if you buy the 32 ounce starter kit and you just press checkout you put in the code little surprises and the code will be down below as well you apply it and there you go it's five dollars off so pretty much this is um, what the memo clip holder looks like and it's a different piece that I have in front of you right now. This is the resin piece that I made and has already sold. But I'm going to make a similar version to this today. And the cool thing is because it's polymer clay and resin, you can see that the pieces are removable. So you could totally make a bunch of these and then change the base. So I think that's a really cool idea. So I actually at first made a hippo and I really hated it. I thought it was really ugly after a while. So I decided that I was going to redo it and um, you see I already had all the clips ready and then I said you know it's not good enough for you guys so I redid it and we're going to show you today what I made instead so here I have some translucent clay I'm going to kind of mimic the Primo opal so as you can see here here is a Primo opal color and um, Pauli Momoti already has like a DIY version of the opal clay but today I'm going to show you that you can pretty much use any glitters you want in your translucent clay so I'm adding in some fine glitter at first just to kind of have a good base to it and then afterwards I decided I was going to add some heart glitters and um, I have some of these heart glitters from Martha Stewart you can use any heart glitters you have and then I mix it in by just kneading it together slowly, a little bit at a time. You can use star glitters, I've done that before, just like in my lanterns. If you haven't seen my lantern video, I'll link it down below. But you can see it through the transparency. And then I started cutting away at the clay to start forming my little pig or porgy chubble. And you can use any animal you want, I just thought the pig was the easiest one. I added in some little triangles for the ears and then a like half cylinder for the nose. And that's what it looks like. Then I used a dotting tool to indent the features and added in the features again with some black clay and some pink blush was pink polymer clay. Pink polymer clay as pink blush. There we go. <laughs> and then before baking, I poked a little hole with my little memo clip and I'm going to link down below where you can buy your own. Added some Fimotaco gel or TLS and then put the clip back in. And if you see, think that you don't have enough TLS, just add a little bit more around before you bake it. So while that's baking, I'm going to show you how to make the pond. So I just put a sample trouble in the middle just to make sure that my mold, my circle mold was big enough. And of course, I'm using some art resin for this video. So I didn't have my gloves on completely, but I pretty much held it with a glove and I put in a little bit of some blue pigment and then poured it into my mold. Now I had to wait for this to get tacky and this took about eight hours for me. Um, actually, it took three hours on a really, really hot day, so <laughs> I don't know why. But I used a lighter to pop away the bubbles, but since it's a pond, you know, water has bubbles anyway, so you actually don't have to pop the bubbles, I just chose to. Then, um, this is what the porky, my trouble, looks like after it's baked. And as you can see, it's not as translucent because I did use like a thicker amount of translucent, and I'll have a comparison at the end, but you can see that the heart glitter shows up really, really well, and I really love it. Here I have some pre-made um, resin, already tacky, and as you can see there are some glitters at the bottom. I added that in at the end, and I'm just pushing my porgy down into the pond very slowly. And you'll see because it's tacky, it's not you know very liquidy or fluid, so you're not going to make a mess. And you're just going to wait 24 hours for your resin to cure, and then you can pop it out. This is probably the most fun. I think I love watching it kind of come away from the mold. And it's really awesome because once it's all popped out, it's so easy to remove. So as you can see, I easily just took it out. And now we're going to make the base of the pond. And for this, I use some silver clay. You can use scrap clay actually and then just paint it over, but I have a lot of silver clay. Decided to use that. I pushed it down um, onto my clay and then I folded up the sides to kind of cover the pond. And then I use my X-Acto knife to clean off the edges. And you can see how cute it already looks. 
The next thing I did was I scraped away some more silver clay to make the rocks. And this requires a lot of patience and it's a lot easier if your clay is already hard to begin with. My clay was actually kind of um, soft so this was a little harder for me to do. So once I have all my pieces, I found it really easy just to use my fingers to place it all around the pond. And it's okay if it's not perfect because we're going to start texturing it later with a toothbrush. And this is what it looks like. Then I thought that the pond looked a little plain and I added some TLS and some green lily pads onto the top of the resin and then started adding in little translucent bubbles and this comparison later I'm going to show you um, it's really easy to see that these little bubbles are a lot more clear than the translucent piggy or porgy. Another thing I want to add is if you're afraid to bake the resin, don't be. You can set it at a lower temperature in your oven, but you can bake the resin. And here it is uh, after it's baked. And as you can see, the resin is completely fine. There may be some fingerprints on top from the clay, so you can use rubbing alcohol to wipe that off. Now, you'll see that resin and clay, they don't stick onto each other very well, especially if it's not embedded into the resin. So I could actually remove the pond portion, and I think that's really cool because it gives you another way to kind of make a mold of a pond, a circle, a square, basic shapes. I think that's really, really awesome. So I may make a tutorial like this in the future to show you different variations of things you can make with such a technique. But pretty much if you want this to be permanently glued down, um, I just used an E6000. I smeared it all over the place so that there's not too many um, like bald spots where the glue isn't touching. And afterwards, I placed my pond back into my little stone circle. And you're going to see that I'm pushing it down slowly. I'm pushing it down quickly. Pretty much trying to push all of the bubbles up towards the sides. And this is what it looks like after it's glued down. I love it and look, comparing the bubbles to the porgy, you can see that the bubbles are more translucent than my porgy. And that's because I used too much translucent clay for the pig. Even though it is still translucent, it's just not as translucent. And there you have it. This is the entire tutorial featuring art resin and I love it. Of course, you can use any kind of resin you want. but. Because I am sharing with you guys a coupon from Art Resin, I thought it was a perfect opportunity to use this resin again. So here I have my little resin porgy next to it, and you can get these on my Etsy shop. I'm always making these, they're a lot of fun. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a little more of Art Resin's website. So here is the website. You can see that it's safe, there's no VOCs, and they also have an FAQ portion and a shipping and returns option. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, in October, Art Resin is going to add the UK to their ship shipping list. So I hope you guys are excited about that. And then the FAQ section, just like in my review, which I will link down below, there are questions and answers to so many things that people are usually curious about that no one ever tells you about resin, so that's really cool. And here, again, I'm just showing you me adding the 32 ounce starter kit to my cart and putting in the coupon code little surprises just to show you that it works it's five dollars off and if you wanted the eight ounce sample kit which is a lot smaller just email art resin and they're more than happy to help you out there so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions about the tutorial or about art resin let me know if the coupon code doesn't work please contact art resin they're more than happy to help and thank you guys again for watching